Genizer Jacketed Liposome Extruder. Today we are going to introduce the Genizer Jacketed Liposome Extruder. It is primarily used to homogenize particle sizes of cosmetics and pharmaceutical products, reducing the particle size of liposomes and emulsions to facilitate sterile filtration. In addition to nanoscale liposomes, it can also be used in the preparation of exosomes and artificial cell membranes, etc. The extruder uses a nitrogen gas cylinder as a power source. The sample will be pushed through the specified pore size of the filter membrane, under nitrogen pressure, and finally be extruded to a uniform size ranging from 20 nanometers to 300 nanometers. Based on the capacity, there are four models available. 10 milliliters, 100 milliliters, 800 milliliters, and 3000 milliliters. First, let's take a look at the composition of this extruder. All parts of the extruder body are made of sanitary 316 plank length stainless steel. This is the cap screw, extruder top, track etch membrane, drain disc, laser disc, large pore support disc. Filter support base. Extruder base. Jacketed barrel. Wing nuts and gaskets. Next, we will outline the steps for assembling the Genizer jacketed liposome extruder. Place the extruder base on a stable platform. Take out the filter support base. Check the o-ring for wear and put it on the extruder base. Carefully place the large pore support disc in the filter support base. Then place the laser disc flat on the large pore support disc, ensuring that the smooth side is facing up. Place one drain disc, followed by a track etched membrane with specific pore size assignee side up. Please note that the membrane should be fault with no wrinkles or bubbles. Wetting the membrane can be benefit during the placement. Place the jacketed barrel squarely onto the extruder base, paying attention to whether the o-ring is worn. To avoid air or liquid leakage, install the extruder top and place the gaskets on its position, then screw the wing nuts to tighten the whole extruder. Tighten the wing nuts symmetrically to keep the extruder top level. Finally, screw the cap screw. The whole assembly is completed. Next is the experimental preparation. First, connect one end of the plastic hose to the sample outlet and place the other end in the outlet container to collect the extruded material. Remove the cap screw from the top. Fill the extruder with in process material less than 100 milliliters using the syringe. Screw the cap screw back in place. The pressure exhaust valve on the extruder top should be in the closed position during operation. Connect the supplied tubing to your nitrogen cylinder. Turn the nitrogen cylinder knob counterclockwise to allow the gas to flow. Then set the operational pressure by turning the regulator knob clockwise. Please note that adjustments should be made slowly and the pressure is generally adjusted to 150 to 100 psi. Under nitrogen pressure, the material will be slowly extruded through the nanopores of the filter membrane. And the material after extrusion is more homogeneous and transparent. After completing the extrusion, please turn off the nitrogen cylinder knob clockwise. Open the exhaust valve on the extruder top to depressurize the pressure. Make sure that the pressure gauge on regulator knob is zeroed and close the regulator knob. Remove the high pressure tubing. Disassemble and clean the extruder to avoid residual solidification of the material in the extruder. 